All right, so sometimes over time, uh, as you're using your K-Box, the when you when you go to, to change the length of the drive belt, um, sometimes the, the retraction can kind of uh, decrease in strength over time. So have the K-Box flipped over here. There's a spring in here, which is, that's what's responsible for pulling the belt back in. Okay, so over time you can lose a little bit of tension and I just want to show real quick um, how to restore that pretension. It's, it's pretty easy and it's pretty simple. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna dry, grab the, the, the drive belt here real close to the actual spring. And all I'm gonna do is I'm going to get rid or pull out, if you will, all of this, uh, the slack from the drive belt here. Okay, so when I get close to the end, there'll be some red stitching there. So when you see the red stitching, you know you're getting close. There'll be a button. And then when you get to all the way to the end, you'll see that there is a hook here, okay? And then that hook is just looped through. Hey, I can get better here. Yeah, so that hook is just looped through uh, the end of the drive belt here. So all I'm gonna do is I'm going to remove that. Okay, and I can set the, the end of the drive belt that I just disconnected. I can set that aside for now. Um, and with this now, okay, so that hook, I'm gonna make sure that that's tight. Um, uh, it, it's wound up around that spring. And all I'm gonna do is the most important part is make sure you go counterclockwise, okay? So I'm gonna wind this up counterclockwise. Um, this one still has a pretty good uh, amount of tension on there. So I'm just gonna do it once, just for the sake of the video. But if you've had your K-Box for, for a while and, and you've noticed that, hey, it's really, you know, the tension is really dying down there. Um, you can do this, you know, upwards of, of five or six times um, to actually restore that pretension. So say you've done it about five or six times or however many you think is, is sufficient and that, that tension feels good here. Um, again, you wanna make sure you hang on to this. Don't let this go because, uh, you know, it can spin up, it'll lose all its tension and it can cause a mess. So really make sure that you hang on to this and that you don't let this go. Um, but once you wound it up, however many times you think is good. I'm gonna grab the end of this drive belt here, okay? The loose part that, that we just disconnected. I'm going to make sure that this is straight so it's not twisted, okay? And so, same thing. I'm just gonna pull it out here. I'm gonna reattach that drive belt. And then the last step is I'm just gonna make sure that with my hands, I'm gonna guide this a little bit with my hands, okay? So main reason being is because there should be a good amount of tension on there. Again, if you just let it go, it can tangle the drive belt a little bit um, and kind of lead to a mess. So we'll just kind of guide it. The, the spring should be doing most of the work here. It should be pulling it back in for the most part. And I'm just making sure that it goes in straight. From here, once you get it all wound up, you're good to let it go. Um, and then you can flip it over and, and test out the, the retraction and, and see how it is. Okay guys, so one um, tip on, on how to improve the, the tension or the pull of the drive belt back in when you press on this, this button here. A lot of people will go straight up and down with it. Okay, so from here, um, which will work, especially brand new units, it, it'll work relatively well. But um, one easy fix to um, increase the pretension or have a good, more direct pull is instead of adjusting the, the length of the drive belt straight up and down, if I pull this to the side here, away from the button, okay? So I'm gonna pull the pulley block away from the button. All this does is, you can see when we flipped it over, this is just pretty much a straight shot into that spring, okay? So from here, this will be a lot smoother feed of the drive belt as opposed to here.